Hey guys, welcome to Corey's Car Review. We're back today with the one and only Justin Byrne. Thanks for, for coming Glad out here, here with us. Glad Studi to be here. Studeville Ford. I've been stalking you guys <laughs> and uh, found out you got finally got one of these in. How many days have you had this in? We've had it not even a full week, I don't yeah. think. And it's we've had a lot, uh, a lot of lot, a lot of eyes on it. Not there. Sure. Highly anticipated 2021 Ford Bronco. Badlands package. Badlands package. Um, first of all, I want to ask you what color this is. It's cyber orange. Cyber orange. It it's has a new color, and you got you can see the flake. I was just in getting, it. I don't it's know if beautiful. you can. I don't know if you can see. That we're kind of parked under the tree here in the shade, so you can kind of see the metal flake. You can really see it right here in the hood. Man, that's beautiful. It sure is. You know, one thing that I will say is. Ford does a, an awesome job with when they come out with a new vehicle retro in it after right. you know the original like the Mustang. And oh yeah. The, uh, oh yeah. Um, it, I'm drawing. I'm drawing a blank. I'll, I'll obviously with this, but uh, you see the old square body Broncos, and then you look at this. Yeah. yeah. Man, that is a Bronco uh -huh. for sure. Yeah, I, I I love this thing. And I'm telling you, the ride on this thing is what blows my mind. It's so smooth, no death wobbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, the, you know, the the wind noise is what. Right, right. Driving out here, I noticed that the the wind noise inside, because you know the the tops, the right, the, the right. windows were up and the tops are on. The doors but, are removable. Yeah. Um, but there wasn't a there no, wasn't a lot of road no. noise and wind noise. I was really impressed. Um. I, I love the the front of this with the yeah, with these the headlights grill. and yeah and the, and the the grill. Got the throwback brown yeah. lights. I love it. I like the white the white Bronco. It's got that 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor. Still getting 18 miles per gallon. It's 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 a Haas. Yeah. And it's got that goat mode, that four wheel drive. You know, so it's. It's prepared for sand, rock, gravel, well, anything you can think of. Speaking of sand, there's a river right here. Right. And what do you think the chances would be of just trying to drive all the way to the other side? You know, if there wasn't so much water, I'd probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know that your boss would appreciate no, that. No, no, no. I, I might get fired for that one. I would but hate to call him be, and say... It would be really fun to do. <laughs> I would hate to call him and say, I know it took you so long to get this, but we sunk it in the <laughs> middle of the river <laughs> so unfortunately we won't be able to do that but uh, I, I love how all this is all this is metal. oh yes. the bumper yes the, the bumper the skid plate it's got the front tow hooks if you ever get stuck look how shouldn't. look how much ground clearance there is those are some heavy duty shocks yeah in, in there big old meaty tires yeah so these are, let's see, try to find the size here, 285, 70, 17. Yeah, those are, yeah. You, know, you don't have to worry about running over anything that's gonna puncture those. No, sir. Those are, those no, are chunky. Sir. It's got the Badlands package, and I like, as we walk around, you know, do the inside, I like that some of the accents inside are reflect the, color. the color. Right, yeah, right. I, I love that. Of course, it's got the 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 metal the, the skid plate on plate. the side. I love the looks. Of, I don't know. It's tough. You know, after seeing the two door, I on I immediately thought, well, the four door is going to be the way to go. But after seeing the two door, I don't know. You I, you, you can't go wrong with either one. I, I'm but, partial to the two door. Yeah. I, we haven't had a four door in yet, so I haven't seen one in person. But the two door, man, yeah. it's it, it's so cool how close to the original body right, style right. This, this looks. And, and the fact that the the top is still removable, like the old one, you know, and the doors come off, you know, it's yeah, it's it's meant to have fun in it, you know, it's meant to take it wherever you want it to go, you yeah. know, it's so this. This can be removed, yeah, and, yeah, and, 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 and then the back pieces. can. The back can. Pieces. If, you, okay. if you look inside, 
you can see that this part can come off or the whole thing can come off. Okay, I'm, you, I'm, you can do just the back and leave the front roof. Okay, like, I was wondering that if you could if you could take them off individually. I'm pretty sure, but we'll keep walking around this and then check out the inside here. In a second, I love the the, the, the tail lights. lights. And you got the Bronco. Oh yeah, emblem. and the, the Bronco emblem. I love how you know all around it. These right, you got these chunky bolts and. Uh, it, it just and, looks and even on the inside they have those and it right. just looks looks so authentic and just looks looks so cool I, I like these um, these fenders right did. man that that orange is beautiful and, or you know, the, for... and the black the you know with the black wheels and the black accents right right definitely had to tint up the windows and make it look right uh -huh. but and you know another thing I, I was pretty impressed by the room in the back you yeah, know like yeah. you, you think your two door it's, it's gonna be pretty crammed back yeah. there but no it wasn't really and i'm I, i'm six three so i'll climb back there here in a few minutes and show you but show you the, the room back there but uh man this thing is so cool well you want to would you pop the hood for yeah, us and we check it out So we got the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, the, the 10-speed automatic transmission. This this thing is it's built to go anywhere. Yeah. That, that four-wheel drive, the goat modes. It's. You know, I'm I'm really shocked that they don't have an engine cover on that. I'm right. It's <clears throat> with the with the bigger motors. They seem to like with that that two three. They're, they're a little more open. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if that's by design or yeah. And I'm sh with Ford, you know, everything's by design. You're right. You know, so they they've they've thought out every little little thing on it. So yeah. oh, the I just it just dawned on me the GT, the the, the Ford GT. That's right, the other right. one I was thinking about that you you know went along with how good they did with the styling. Right, you know, right. with the original. Oh, so I've been saying for years I think they need to make like a mid-engine. GT40, you know, yeah. that, that's yeah. a little more affordable, yeah. you know, like yeah. compete with that mid-engine Corvette. Yeah. Well, and great. and even the GT500, if they were to make yeah. a mid-engine GT500, yeah. that I, I did read that back in October of last year, right. Hennessy put out that they were going to do Hennessey a supercharged, awesome supercharged Coyote swap on this, so that would which for a minimal 225,000 you could get one right, but right. 750 horsepower the, this thing with 750 horsepower would be a hoss oh my gosh. man you, you go 100 miles an hour through that field yeah. over there no yeah. problem well let's uh yeah, oh i just that. noticed right here on this windshield it says bronco established 1966 that's cool oh that is cool and i like that VIN number, how everything on this is, it's not just your regular lettering, it's all it's, chunky. It's retro. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got that old school vibe to it. That's cool. Yeah, you guys want to check out the inside of it? Oh, yeah. We were looking for you. We didn't know where you went. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now we're inside. Um, so yeah, it's got the push button. Push button start. And I like the way that that reflects the, the front headlights. Right, right. And you know, like you said, the, the little accents, the orange accents, it's got handles everywhere. Yeah, I love those they're, handles. The, they're like a rubber. Yeah, a they, rubber you got handle. a good grip on them. And it's got the painted, the same color as the trim, and here's the, the, different, the different bolts I told you it looked and down with here, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, it's got the, it's got that plate, designed and engineered in Dearborn, Michigan, built in Michigan assembly plant. That's pretty cool. Lee. You got your your goat mode knob. You know, it's got the, your four high, your four low, your four auto. It's got the Bronco. Right, right. Oh, love, look at that. Love the Bronco emblems. That's cool. Oh, that's yeah. I didn't notice the, the flag on the there. Flag that's on cool. There. That's really neat. And, uh, you know, it's like the, you know, it's got the, the windows are in the middle, you know, they're not on the doors because, like I said, the doors you can be removed. Right. And I like the, you know, you've got the, 
the the same color trim on the inside. Right. You've got this little pocket. Here's here's the those bolts I was talking about. What's well, cool? I'll I'll shut the door. But when you shut the door, then the window goes up. Right. Right. When you open it, it goes down. Uh, of course, it's got the Bronco logo right there in the dash. And you've got your your locking differentials up here. You know, if you're depending on what you're trying to do. The and the thing is, is you know, the, the Badlands package is one of I think seven different trims that you can oh, get wow. on the Bronco. Okay. And it's it's on the lower end, so this thing's not even teched out. It, oh it, really? It, it's got a bunch of features, but it's not as teched out as they can get. Yeah. I I've, I've even heard rumors that some of the high end ones are going to be seventy thousand dollars. Man. Like. God, that's crazy. But like in. One thing I really like is the, the setup on the dash. You know, like you can, it's a totally unique. You know, like I've, I've never seen another Ford or anything that's got that same setup up there. And you know, you can shuffle through all your different stuff on there, all your different information. You got your off road, tire pressure, all that stuff. Those tires are huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the, um, I like the, you know the the gauges you know, right they, right right the, the look they're unique yeah. you know like they they don't look like every other vehicle that you get into i don't know if you got a shot of that but the the orange on the air vents right there and these right here are the the aug switches because like i said there's so many different features that you can add on to it light bars whatever they make it real simple to set those up so you put on your light bar and you already got your switch for it oh that's cool yeah So these right here are what they call the auxiliary switches. They put them on the, the trucks too. They make it so easy to add accessories. Like say you want to get a light bar put on, you hook up your light bar and then you run it through your switch. And then you just oh, pop cool. your switch. And, and you know, like there's six different ones. It's like you, all kinds of different things you can put on there. Oh, that's cool. So and, the, 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 the plugs are, or the, the plugins are already there. Right, they're already so, there. Oh, okay. Wow, that's and nice. That these they... things are so customizable. You can do anything to them. Snorkels, light bars, lift kits. I was... They even got a tent that you can put on the roof. Oh, really? Yeah. I was uh, I was reading that there's like close to like 200 accessories. Oh my gosh, for the, yeah. For this. Oh my I, gosh, yeah. I, I can't even imagine the amount of money you would have right. just in your initial investment and then all the all the other extra right. stuff. Right, and not to mention all the different packages, you know, like I said, they got seven different packages, you know, and this this has got the smaller motor, the 2.3, 270 horsepower, but you can also go up to the 2.7 that's got about 310 horsepower, so you can get some more power out of it. Yeah. Very, very capable vehicle. I like the I like the look and the feel of these, right. of these seats. The leather seats, they're yeah. all comfy. And the, and the and orange the, stitching. The Bronco. Oh yeah. On there. And, you know, they make it, because like I said, all this is removable. So, right. you know, if you're driving through the river or through, a, you know, it, it rains or whatever, it's and all kind of. If you look at the floor mats and the, like the floors, you know, they, it's not carpet. You know, it's, it's, it's made to get dirty. Oh yeah, it's like a. It's not, it's not even really rubber, it's like a kind of a plastic, yeah. kind of plasticky rubber. Yeah, like, a, like almost like a vinyl. Yeah. I'll slide the seat forward. Since you're in the back, I'll leave you back there, but there's quite a bit, I mean quite a bit of, of room back here. Of course you got your cup holder and you uh, got a nice little armrest right there. And the design on the back of the Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool too. I love how all the screws have they they all look the same. They're not right. just like a regular Phillips head. Or, right, you know, they're, right, right. And of course, you said these with everything being able to remove. You see the bottom of this door says lift. You just just pick the door up and, and there's slide a, it off. A plug. You unplug it so that. Oh yeah, right here. Yep. And just unplug that, and they lift right off. It's pretty cool. And I was looking on the back, you've got these speakers back here on, on the corner. Right. And then you've got the orange, the orange trim up here on the on the top. That way you get the got the roof off. Looks like it's got a uh, 
the light back here in a in a auxiliary plug. Oh yeah. Back there. That's pretty cool. You got the Bronco the Bronco logo. She's definitely sweet. Well how about how about we go take it for a ride and check out how smooth it is? Let's do it. Five seven, five eight, and you, I mean you're you're kind of lounge back. You got you got plenty of room. Plus, 
plenty of room for a couple car seats back there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very roomy, very comfortable ride. You know, like hey, this thing's gonna be tough to beat. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was such an awesome car, and I, I'm glad we got the opportunity to, yeah, to do it. I want to tell you, definitely. thanks for thanks for helping us out. Go see our friend Justin at Studeville Ford if you're looking for a new car, used car, or we can order you a Bronco. Yeah, two door, two door, four door, GT 500, whatever what? you need, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, I can't wait to show you the next video.